All right, let's do this. You love to see it. <laughs> oh man, that was so sick. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so so much for joining me. It's Slay Anything and today we are playing a really crazy combo deck. It's built off of this really powerful deck that's currently being played in Alchemy. There's a mono red dragons deck that takes advantage of a few new cards from the Alchemy set including this one Fearsome Wealth which is a really cool card for two mana it's a 1-1 one, one flying. It says at the beginning of your end step each dragon card in your hand perpetually gains this spell costs one colorless less to cast. So the reason this is super powerful is because every turn, as long as this is out on the battlefield during your end step, your creatures start to become progressively cheaper. So these gold span dragons could potentially only cost two red, as well as the inferno and these red dragons we've got. The other new card from alchemy that's featured heavily in mono red dragons is this card, Town Razor Tyrant. This card is absolutely bonkers. For two colorless and two red, this is a 4-4 flying dragon. It says when it enters the battlefield, Field, target land you don't control loses all abilities except mana abilities and gains at the beginning of your upkeep this permanent deals two damage to you unless you sacrifice it so why this is so powerful in this deck is because if we turn to the fearsome whelp well actually at the end of the end step we'll get a town razor tyrant to become three mana so on the following turn we're curving out to a three mana creature that taxes your opponent for having a land now if your opponent is stuck on like two or three lands this is so dangerous for them because they're just going to continue to take two damage unless they sacrifice it which will further set them back so there's a lot of really tough decisions for your opponent once this card goes down now aside from getting really cheap dragons that just swing in and do a ton of damage there's one really really cool combo in this deck since we are playing this card mask with nexus and we've been playing this card a lot just because this is the most bonkers card i think it just does so many things and enables so many different combos but we're playing it with calamity bearer again and calamity bearer if you remember is if a a giant source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead so once we have a mask with nexus out all of our dragons swing in for double even cooler we're playing with one of these kind of underused dragons called red dragon for four colorless two red it's a four four flying it says when red dragon enters the battlefield it deals four damage to each opponent so imagine if we have one or two calamity bears we're just going to be doing etb tons and tons of damage with this card without even swinging in first and the best part about running mask with nexus of course is that we're gonna be running the world tree which has that really cool ability where we can sacrifice it and then search our library for any number of god cards put them onto the battlefield basically since nexus makes all of our creatures into gods we're gonna be able to pull out all of our calamity bearers and all of our red dragons and just do an immediate ton of damage before our opponents know what the hell even happened and the best part about this deck is that as long as we can get these two cards out it's not that difficult to get the 11 mana including the world tree necessary to go ahead and enact that combo because we do have gold span dragon which doubles the worth of our treasure tokens so as early as something like let's say turn six if we've got like three more treasure tokens out and gold span dragon gold span dragon makes all of those treasure tokens count as two mana we already have enough mana to crack world tree do the combo get calamity bear and red dragon out there and then just immediately kill our opponents so it's totally sick the combo is awesome it definitely works so let's go ahead and get to some gameplay right now without further ado let's play some magic the gathering not an incredible hand by any means but we do have our way up to mass with nexus maybe we can keep it but we'll hold on to it all right Black deck, always wonderful to see. Hunt plays the Shambling Ghast. So we got it like a Bulgari Sacrifice. This would have been nice if we had the, uh, we had our dragon to help us ramp up with these dragons in hand. We don't. Play that, we go next. Then the turn. I'm going to make Dispute here. I'm going to get that couple of treasure tokens, couple of cards. 
still, right? So we've got a frostbite up, which can uh, take care of like a witch. Sanguine brushstroke. Okay, something we can definitely kill before it gets too wild out here. Get rid of that before it starts adding too much incremental damage to us. Um, we're kind of just hoping for land four over here. There we go. Land four is not too bad. Um, kind of wouldn't mind playing Town Razor Tyrant. And we get to punish them a little bit with their land, so that's fine. They have, they actually have uh, treasure tokens, so it's not that big of a deal, like taking away their green. But, uh, you know, anything we can do to start getting some damage on the board. We'll have to use their mana to take care of Town Razor Tyrant since they don't run a lot of flyers. They do have Lolth, however, which could be very scary. We have Eaten Alive as well. Infernal Grasp. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's play this and... Okay. I think I'm good with playing gold span. Let me just swing in and get aggro. Yeah, we can create some mana. We could eventually get to a point where we um, get enough treasure tokens to play mask wood, and all of a sudden we're doing it. We're doing the damn thing. I will show you what happens when the I will call the <clears throat> Okay, so we take two here. Um let's go and play World Tree. I kinda wanna play Nexus, but I kinda also wanna play Unexpected Windfall. Uh, Alright, Nexus sets us up for the next two turns pretty well, so if we just do no attacks, we end the turn, we get the opponent to just do what they gotta do here. Still taking two, which is nice for us. Opponent's not running Snowlands, so that means Blood on the Snow's not necessarily the thing. Let's see if we can take down kind of the boogeyman of the format. If we don't die in the next two turns, we probably can win here. Okay, my turn. Play this, and that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see if this works. The opponent's tapped out, and I wouldn't mind swinging into the opponent right here. Let's do this. Yeah. See how the opponent blocks here? Okay. Let's go and activate World Tree. And I think this is GG. Yeah, this should be GG right here. Pretty funny. Funny stuff. <laughs> 32 damage to the opponent. Oh man, that was so good. That was so great. 32 damage to the opponent with a single red dragon is. It's pretty busted, um, and you can do 64 if the other Calamity Bear is in there, but yeah, that was cool. It really showcases the power of the deck. That was like a turn six play, basically, because the gold span had given us enough treasure tokens to really maximize on the world tree, so that's pretty powerful, especially against a deck like this where they're eventually going to play like Meat Hook Massacre, gain a bunch of life, and just drain us. So GG, up on it. Hey, we're going against the Ali Eldrazi. Okay, let's see if we can get a good game in against Ali then. If you guys don't know who Ali Eldrazi is, he is like a magic pro. You can find him up on Twitch as well. Okay, so we might have like a uh, either contr control, like Azorius control, or we've got a, like a mono white, or maybe clerics even, because no, no, it's Esper. It's Esper. So we're gonna play this and. Let's go and swing in. Play this one to get our gold span a little bit cheaper. Then gold span can swing in and do some damage as well. Okay, so we've got a little tokens deck. That's pretty cool. Playing against Ali Eldrazi. 
All right. Um, so do we want to go ahead and just get the dragons out? Yes, we will. Probably has like a sweeper or some kind of meat hook action. Do this. First taps on the turn. I would love to get into like... What do we need here? What we need is we do have mass with Nexus, which will probably be targeted by like a borrowed time. So a borrowed time could really punish us. Okay, take one. All right, so this is actually nice. This is kind of more what I was hoping for in a sense. Um, I was gonna play. Um, I don't think we play Nexus yet, just because we could be targeted by a borrowed time again, and I don't want that. So what I'll probably do is unexpected landfall, drop a frostbite or something like that. Opponent could have like um, Edgar Markov coming out with only four mana. Uh, what else is going into a deck like this? We're playing Orzhov. Okay, uh, yeah, we take two, which means we get to draw. Another wedding announcement. Okay. So I'm assuming they probably have some kind of removal in hand. Let's go into Unexpected Windfall, drop a Frostbite. Get a little bit of mana here. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And um, let me see, that's 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have, we have 11 mana here officially, which is so sick. <sighs> okay. Um, so I think what we do is we play Masswood Nexus. Play World Tree. Just go next, and um, yeah, we swing in. Then we've got a really cheap gold span dragon, and maybe that can buy us some time here. So let me see, that's six mana just off of the treasure tokens. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, we we'll take the four. You can see like a sweeper. Maybe like a meat hook to get their life stabilized. Borrowed time could take out our Masswood Nexus if they did draw that or they have that in their hand, like we are in some trouble. Because that's part of the whole world tree combo. Katilda, okay. So they're saving these this two mana for vanishing verse, I suspect, but now that they're tapped out, we are in a little bit of a better spot. Alright, so my turn. Let's play gold span. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go ahead and um I think we can do that to here. Yeah, it's only protection from vampires. Ah, damn it. Okay, so we've got a shot, but the shot just went down significantly. So why did this kill me though? Call it haunting, okay. We did damage to it. I don't understand flying haste. How come that didn't die? Black, okay. All right, as long as um, Masswood Nexus is in, like, we're good. We're Gucci. I'll take whatever comes in. Protection from Vampire. Aha, gotcha. Good deal here. there. That is why. Because all of our things are vampires. Oh, this is so sweet. I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it against Aliel. All right, let's do this. We're gonna get to use our jank against fucking Ali Eldrazi. So sick. You love to see it. Ha 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 
<laughs> oh man, that was so sick. That was so awesome. We got to do our janky little combo against Ali. GG Ali out there. That was a really fun match. Like I thought we were going to get stomped out there. Um, and we probably were very close because Katilda had protection from all of our creatures. So if this had not come to fruition that turn, we would have been dead. So GG, that was so sick. All right, we can hold on to this one. Um, we have turn two whelp. We've got some card draw to ditch a land if we're just like starting to get too flooded. Turn two whelp gives us an opportunity at bumping down uh, Town Razor Tyrant, so it could be pretty good. Get the damage in a little bit earlier, which is nice. Sick. Let's go and do that. Swing for one. One takes two. So it looks like we're going against a Cleric's Life Gain deck. Part. Oh, okay. Abzan Life Gain. Gross. Hate to see it. Okay. Um. Let's play Mountain and let's just stay aggro here. Always stay aggro. They won't get in anywhere near the 27 life they need, I think, to really like pop off, so that's good for us. Another Angel of Unity. Gross. You hate to see it. But I think it is what it is. Dragon's Fire could be good for us. Dragon's Fire allows us to, you know, like kill uh, an Angel of Unity or something like that. We're going to do no blocks here. All right, so let's go and play Seize the Spoils. I'll drop a Mountain here. That's pretty good. And play this and... Sure, why not? Let's do the damn thing. Well, it's kind of thinking on it. They're down to five. <sighs> okay, they're really like uh, relying on their life gain here, which is probably good. They probably have another Righteous Valkyrie, which is going to make their, you know, life total kind of bounce right back up. Okie dokie. They're going to gain, I think, six here. Yeah. Which I think is fine. Okay, no blocks. Take five. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, swing with these three. Create some more treasures. Gain some life. And play this. I think they might sack their land. They don't sack their land. Okay. So they're they're like, I've got a thick creature in my hand still. Play the second one. But at this point we need to get our mask wood nexus going on. Alright, let me see. What's this? Uh, whenever. Uh, turn target cleric card with lesser mana value, so they can bring back one of these. That's kind of gross. Um, we can also destroy that, or it gets too huge, huh? Let's see. Um, guess we just do this. Let's see if this works. Okay, let's go like this. Let's see what the opponent plays from here. All right, so they probably have. If I had to guess like a removal spell in hand, but this is cleric, so I'm not 100% sure. So let's see what this looks like. 4, 8, 12, 16. Do you do that? All right, so let's see how this goes. They block two, my four creatures. They can even block Calamity Bear and this, and then that's 4, 8, 12. And then on the back swing, I'm fucked. So let's go like this. Let's go three gold spans, and let's see what this looks like. 
they might be okay with this. Then we end the turn. They sack here. Oh, okay. Damn. Okay, so we lose life here. Lose life. Uh. GG. <laughs> Oh man, okay. That that was good. That was good. Like we there's nothing we could have done there. We didn't draw our combo pieces, so we didn't get to pull off the combo. So Slayers, New Year's, New Year, New Year's Day, and Eve. They're both coming soon. What are you guys doing for the New Year's? What are you guys New Year's resolutions? I'd like I'd love to hear that. Mine are all the same shit that I do every year that I never seem to manage to get around to. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll keep this one. There's some whelps, uh, not too bad of a creature to have in your opening hand. Play a world tree. Fearsome whelp gives us a nice little turn three town raiser tyrant, which is pretty sweet. Could be going against like the mono green aggro decks, which are pretty popular right now. But curving into turn three, uh, Town Razor Tyrant is just so, so powerful. <laughs> yes. Oh man. It's like, do they take damage or do they lose a land? And that's a really hard choice to make early on in the game when you only have two lands. So, GG, get kits. All right, this is another, as far as a dragon, a good dragon hand, this is the one you want to keep. Shambling Ghast, okay. and a Persistent Specimen. All right, let's go and Whelp here. We'll get some nice thick creatures that we can play pretty early on. Do no blocks. And a Fell Stinger, okay. Oh no. All right, so. That's fine, because we can just do this, start putting some damage on the opponents, eaten alive, sure. Take three, let's go ahead and play fearsome well into... Town Razor Tyrants on this bad boy. Red Dragon all of a sudden pretty good here. We draw that next land. Right of Oblivion, sure, 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 sure. Not bad. Uh, we do no blocks. We can get Red Dragon down just a little bit. It's a pretty good deal for us. Um, don't kill this. Swing in for one. A red dragon only costs four, which is pretty sick. Okie dokie. Alright, that's pretty nice. Um, so let's go ahead and red dragon it up. Four, swing in on one. Oh, it keeps taking. The damage. Yes, let's go. We got them. They they might have been mana screwed there. We got them because being stuck on three lands and one of them's like taxed for two damage every turn. Just like woof. All right, GG. Up on. All right, so reason to keep Masswood Nexus is pretty good. Gets us off on the right foot with a lot of different stuff. Uh, reason not to keep is uh, there's really no early action, which kind of sucks. We'll hold on to it. Just like I said, we're we're testing. We don't know what's a good hand um, aside from an early dragon or something like that. Let's go and destroy this just because of the potential to get something down even earlier than should be out. 
That is unfortunate because we will be going... Yeah, we, we leave ourselves a little bit vulnerable to spells like that. That means every creature now is going to be a extra 1-1 one, one through Elvish Warmaster, or at least every elf from this point on. Which kind of sucks, but it uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Calamity Bear can still hook us up. Yeesh. This opponent needs to calm down just a little bit. Okay. Um, sure? Question mark? You know, attacks. Canopy Tactician, you say. You son of a gun. Okay. Let's see how we do this. They're not going to swing in with Elvish Warmaster. Okay, that's sweet. They give us an extra turn. Now attacks. Think we're dead, but it's kind of worth it just to see how far this goes. That's pretty scary, though. So they can re reveal an elf warrior or Tyvar. Put that into their hand. And then they still have two mana, so... My play remains... <laughs> oh my god. Holy snaps. Okay, so they can't play that, which is... Oh, they can't play it because they have a Canopy Tactician. And they're going to play an Eliwick as well. Gross. Love that moment. Oh, goodness. Okay, Alvaris too, huh? Alright. Ugh. Okay, let's play this. We go next. We do no attacks on the turn. Red Dragon's now pretty cheap here. Menace. Bump it. I can do 4 damage to something as well, which is kind of nice. So they can play Varus for the reach, which I'm kind of banking on. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Got a 5-5, five, five, which is kind of gross. Enter into the dungeon. Zolves. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. Get the Varus going. Got a goblin. Gross. All right, so we do have uh, some choices here. Um, all right, let's see what this looks like. Clamity Bear. Oh, man. That's pretty sick, actually. All right, so can we win like this, though, is kind of the the main question, right? So we go Calamity Bear, right? And I think that's 4 times 2. So that's 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So I think think this is GG. <laughs> let's 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 cross our fingers, guys. <laughs> oh man. Dudes, that was so good. We gave them the dragon burn chop. Oh my god, that was so sick. That was amazing. Just 32 damage. Casual red dragon 32 damage. No big deal. That was amazing. That was pretty epic and uh yeah perfect way to just take down this deck that looked like it was gonna absolutely crush us i think they should have probably pressured us a lot more but um you know they had their own game plan i think they're mixing elves along with um, the dungeon mechanic and uh should have just been straight up aggro um, but yeah either way gg opponent all right let's hold on to this one i like the idea of a turn two fearsome whelp giving us some value that usually feels pretty good if you have more dragons that's always better you have nexus 
Uh, Maskwood Nexus, it's definitely a really cool turn four play if you have some non-dragons in your hand as well. You know, when I got this avatar, I didn't know what the hell it was. I still don't know what it is. Is this like one of the uh, the wolves that you normally get? Like when Kaldheim came out? Alright, so we play World Tree. Play this, and we whelp it up. Giving us a little bit cheaper gold span, but I don't think Fearsome Whelp is long for this world if the opponent is on red here. So, yeah. It's kind of one of those things where we're just kind of hoping and praying. Alright, so we're going to play this. I'm just going to go next. The opponent could be on dragons as well. Although, it's looking like they're on Gruel Landfall instead. Okay, let's go in gold span here. Swing in. Now we got a bit of mana to dragon it up. Which is pretty nice. Well, let's see what the opponent has. Uh, they have some enchantment removal here, but no, they're just doing some uh, Valakut action. Gross. I hate to see it. Um, sure. Let's go in for the before and I think I go for Calamity Bear here, just to keep applying the pressure. Um. You know, Doomscar could be incoming. I don't know that much about uh, Landfall deck. Uh, they don't have the double white for Doomscar, so uh, they could have any number of things. Burning down the house is probably something. That's a guess. Yeah. Burn down the house, sure. That is unfortunate. You have this. Go an Inferno here. Swing it for six. Burn down the house. Should not be able to take care of that. Yes, let's go. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Uh, it's pretty scary. Burn down the house. Definitely put a kibosh on our early game plans, but Inferno to the rescue. GG, opponent. Okay, let's make this a good match. We're going against Soren. Or is that Edgar? That's that's Soren the Mirthless. Okay. Alright, let's make this a good one. We've got our uh, three lands, creature removal. We'll hold on to it. We'll do it. We're gonna do it, guys. Okay, so... Good sign that the opponent has not played anything by turn two. Turn three. Not as great of a sign. Um, let's go and destroy this. Like that, and let's play a Feed or Some Whelp. And that'll get us a uh, little cheaper Red Dragon. Frostbite becomes a little bit juicier as well here. Okay. Drop this and we'll drop a... Yeah, we'll drop two Frostbites, sure. Alright, so we play that. Swing in for one. And the turn. We're going against a discard deck. You know when you're going against a discard deck, things are not going to be great. You're not going to have a lot of fun here. <clears throat> okay. Um. Sure. We'll get rid of the red dragon here. Let's go an unexpected windfall. Draw a couple of cards. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh. Maybe we just swing in here. A mask would. Now, if we had creatures in hand, Maskwood Nexus and Interfere some would have been sick. But uh, I think at this point we just need to kind of do our thing. Teleportation circle. Yikes. Yikers. All right, so we're losing our Maskwood Nexus, which means we're going to have to start playing our threats out. We'll decline. Damage there. 
And sure, why not? I'll swing in. I'll swing in. It's a really crazy combo. It was an unfortunate combo, but uh, something that I think we gotta handle. Okay. These are last mask with Nexus, unfortunately. They do have blood tokens, so they're going to be getting a lot of value off of that. They'll be able to draw. Okay. Um, sure. Go there. We go next. Get no attacks on the turn. Yeah, we're going to have to figure this out, though. This is going to be pretty scary. Westgate region is going to get huge. Alright, let's go and play that. Oh, I suppose. Go next. Do no attacks on the turn. Okay, vanishing verse. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, let's go ahead and activate these bad boys. And why not? Let's go and double block here. I think I'm screwed though, just because Westgate region I think puts four counters on, yeah. And that should be it, that should be GG, I think. But it was uh, nice thinking otherwise. Uh, yeah, that should be it. The 8-8, eight, eight. kinda tough. Kind of tough. Pokey dokey, uh, mole. This one's okay. I think we'll keep this one and we'll drop the frostbite. Let's do what we came here to do, which was to curve out to a turn three town raiser tyrant. Can we do it? Warlock class. Woof. All right. So, beginning of round seven, a creature died this turn. Each opponent loses a life. Gross. We do get to look at the top three cards of their library and do some work, though, if they want to. They can also use removal on our whelp. Okay. Okie dokie. Scary Oki. Going Town Razor Tyrants onto this bad boy, and we'll swing it for one. We've also got a. Um, Gold span that we can play next turn if they don't deal with Town Razor Tyrant. See if uh, binding the old gods is their main thing. Nope. Okay. Sweet. Love to see it. I guess we go and play out these threats though, huh? Just got to. And the turn. Take an additional two, so they have to get rid of both. They have to get rid of one of these at least. They want to stay alive. Also got frostbite out, which is pretty nice. Oh, okay. This is GG then, right? Unless they have a removal spell. Uh, sure. Resolve. We lose some life. Sure, my turn. We'll play this. Swing in for four. Play our fearsome whelp on the turn. You gotta take that now. They're a very delicate place where they can't really afford to. Oh, they can, okay. So they're gonna take. We just need to get like anything, basically. <laughs> okay. Oh man. That is such a unfortunate and very stiff penalty of Town Raiser's like little token or little ability because it's just if your mana screwed, you can't give up like your only third land, right? Because you won't be casting any spells, but if we're putting enough pressure on the opponent with our dragons, they have no choice but to. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of really cool choices in this deck. A lot of cool gameplays here, but for the most part, yeah, we're just ramping with Fearsome Whelp and getting these powerful dragons out at least a turn earlier and just doing as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. That being said, let's get into the deck breakdown right now. 
All right, Slayers, I think this is the perfect place to end today's video, and I had a blast with this one. As most of my jank decks go, not exactly the most consistent in terms of wins. We had a few rough matches there, but we actually had a few really, really explosive and fun matches, so this deck has a lot going for it. As far as if you guys should build this one, it's kind of a hit or miss. I think that if you have the cards, as always, yeah, why not try it out? But if you don't have the cards, I think this deck becomes a little bit more difficult to justify spending your wild cards on. If you don't already have Calamity Bear, this card may not be the one card that you want to spend your wild cards on. Town Razor Tyrant is a really great red card, a really great dragon. It does so much work, and I think this one is definitely worth it if you're planning on playing any kind of aggressive red creature deck, or if you are playing this deck specifically, or the actually the more modified version that they're currently playing in tournaments. Because as you could see in that last match, a turn three Town Razor Tyrant is such a tax on the opponent. They really have to make some tough choices there, especially when you're putting a lot of pressure on them with your other dragons. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really, really appreciate you guys stopping by as always. I want to thank you all out there from the bottom of my heart for helping me get to the 1,000 subscriber mark, by the way. That is so epic. As soon as I saw that in my email from YouTube, I was like, yes. We freaking did it, guys. We did it. We got to the thousand mark, which means, you know, first of all, I do get to monetize my channel. I don't know if you guys know this, but once you get to a thousand subs, you can actually apply to have your channel monetized. Not only that, you get to continue to grow your channel a little bit more. I think once you see someone with a thousand subs, you're like, they become a little bit more legitimate. And so this kind of just will hopefully snowball into even more growth for the Slayer's Den community. So like I said, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being there for me. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to give this one a chop because it does help my channel out a ton. And best of all, it does allow me to grow the community. So that's a really big deal to me as a jank content creator. So yeah, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below. And to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.